Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so excited to be here stamping with you tonight. I didn't know if I could pull this off and we'll talk about that a little bit. I had said, I'm looking at my picture over here. What happened? Oh my goodness. I had said that I was not going to be live. Oh, I know, I have it stuck on with some of that sticky tape and that didn't hold, well that's interesting. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, I had said that I wasn't gonna be live tonight, but we didn't really do anything. Well, we did a lot of things this weekend, but we didn't go any place. And today the kids had all kinds of stuff going on with you know their other families and I was sick. <laughs> So I just kind of hung out and whatever, I'll tell you about it. And, and then I'm like, you know what? I can totally do this. I have cards made from these swaps that I've been doing for the last, you know, all of June. So I'm like, I can totally go live tonight. Why can't I go live? So I am going to bring up my live here on my iPad maybe. Let's see if I can get it to work right. There we go. And messages, here they come, yay! So I thought I can totally do this, right? So yesterday I went shopping with Haley and Val and Dawson. And um, we had so much fun. Well, Val and I did. And it was kind of funny because we went to the Skechers store and Old Navy and Target. And at the Skechers store, um, Val was, or um, Dawson was out in the car with mom, with Haley, and she had got a phone call. So she stayed out there and, and Val and I went in the store. And oh my goodness, when we go shopping, we have a really good time. And we're probably the people that you hate if you work in a store because we kind of go a little crazy. We don't, I'm very respectful. We don't mess up displays. We don't take things off shelves and leave them helter skelter. Like that's not okay, right? But there was like next to nobody in the store. So she started running up and down and around the aisles. And, and she was like kind of screaming and laughing and running. And I'm like, come on. And so I was kind of egging her on. And so we had so much fun. It was just so much fun. We didn't hurt anything. We didn't disturb anybody. There was like next to nobody in the store. People were kind of giggling and whatever. I don't care what people think. So. Later, when um, Jared came over and, and I said, oh, we went shopping today, we had so much fun at the Skechers store, and Val was so good, and Haley goes, whoa, wait a minute. So, uh, Val was good according to Granny, but she said for her and Jared, she goes, for me and you, we would have been sweating big time because she was running, she was screaming and laughing, and I'm like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> So anyways, right? It's like, I don't care. And and Haley goes, yeah, well, you don't care because you're the granny. You don't care. And I'm like, no, I don't. We're going to have fun. So that's what we did. Anyways, I bought her some little sketchers that light up when she steps. And they're just the cutest thing. So we went shopping. We went to um, Skechers, got a pair of shoes. Then we went to Old Navy and bought a bunch of clothes for both babies. Oh, is anybody else having audio issues? Can you guys hear me okay? I'm going to turn my phone up. Make sure that I've got this turned up all the way. Um, you may want to turn your volume up. Check and see if your volume isn't up all the way. I just want to know if you guys can hear me. I see lots of you guys sharing this video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So, hi Haley. I was just telling everybody about how much fun Val and I had at the Skechers store. <laughs> and how you said that it would make you and Jared sweat. Because like when, you know, like I have a hot flash when things get a little like, what did I do? And so Haley and Jared do that when the kids start like, you know, not being perfect. Not that we expect them to be perfect, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's so funny. And like I said, I don't really care. I don't care what people, we're not hurting anything. I will never be disrespectful to anybody's property or go in. Like I see some of these stores, like if you go into a Walmart every once in a while, you see just stuff laying all over. It's a mess. That's customers coming in and just making a holy hell mess out of everything. And that's not okay. We don't do that. But we have fun. <laughs> so anyways, it was it was really cool. And um, then we, we, oh, we went to the Chick-fil-A. So I've been to a Chick-fil-A restaurant, I think maybe once. 
but I have never gone through their humongous, crazy drive-through experience. Like, he was like, we got to go there. You're going to just think it's the craziest thing. And it was the craziest thing. Oh my goodness. All these lanes going through and the people come and walk up and they walk with you as you're moving forward. And the chicken was really good. So we brought, um, we brought that home and let's see, Val finally took a nap late. I took a nap with Dawson. I don't even know if Haley took a nap. Steve was playing with Val. She loves to throw all the golf balls out the back door of the garage. And then she would go and she would grab his golf club and she would give it to him. And then she will grab him and push him to the back door and say, go. And he has to go get all the golf balls. That's so funny. So we had fun with that. And then, um, so I took this big, long nap. Like I took a couple naps yesterday. So it was really awesome. I'm like, this is just what I needed, right? And so I thought, okay, well, I'm going to go upstairs in my office and I'm going to get some stuff done. I need to get my office cleaned up really bad because I want to come home to a clean, organized office because it's pretty messy right now. I know it looks all fine and dandy here, but believe me, well, it's, actually, it's not that bad. But, um, you know, I still don't have my stuff transitioned over like my new stuff is still in bins on the floor and I just need to get it all put away. So um, I came upstairs last night and I thought I'll just do some work. And, you know, like, if we're not doing anything tomorrow, I can get this stuff ready for a Facebook Live, right? Why not? And uh, <laughs> um, it was just like somebody flipped a switch. All of a sudden, my throat hurt so bad, I couldn't even swallow. Like, it felt like there was a golf ball in the middle of my throat, and I had a headache, and I was stuffy. Just, just like that. It was the craziest thing. And so I'm like, wow. I think I'm just going to go to bed. And it was only 10 o'clock. And mind you, I, I had like two naps yesterday. So I should have been up till three or four in the morning. <laughs> That's my normal. And um, I went to bed. And then I, Steve was kind of, he was worried about me. Because he knows I have this trip coming up, right? And he said, uh, he, he got up in the morning, came upstairs. And he's like, how you, mama, mama, how you feeling? That's what he says, mama, how you feeling? I'm like, I'm not feeling good. And he goes, well, I'm going to go hit some golf balls and I'll stop and get you some Sudafed because I like to take Sudafed with ibuprofen and that just usually makes me feel better no matter what's wrong with me. So um, I actually was in bed till about three o'clock in the afternoon. I was sleeping on and off, just laying there. I'm like, nope, I'm going to take this easy. I need to be in good shape to go on my trip. So um, I took some drugs, you know, some ibuprofen and... Um, the Sudafed when he got home. I took some other junk that was down there too. I don't even know what it was. You know, we're just like rah, 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 eating the drugs. <laughs> and then I got up and I ate something because I was really hungry. And then I felt good enough that I um, planted my flowers. They need to be done before I can leave, right? Because I don't want them sitting and getting all dried out and dying in those little stupid cup things that they're in. So I planted all my flowers. And by the time I got done... I was feeling pretty weak. Like, uh, it was probably a little bit. I was sweating. I was feeling pretty weak. It probably wasn't the best thing I did. But they're done, and they're beautiful, and I'm happy. And then I just went outside like 15 minutes ago, and Steve was power washing. We're getting all the pool stuff ready. He was power washing, and um, I said, I'm going live. And he goes, okay. <laughs> Is this too loud? Should I shut this off? And I told him, no, you can leave it run. It's no big deal. But he did shut it off, so... He's just always so good about that. <laughs> Anyways, so that was my weekend. And I thought, well, gosh, um, I am traveling. I thought I was going to leave on Tuesday and come back on the following Monday. But I'm actually leaving on Tuesday and coming back on Sunday. But I don't think I'll be live on Sunday night because, you know, jet lag and all the things. But I, for those of you that might not know, I'm headed to St. George, Utah. I am meeting up with some of my very best friends from across the country. Um, Dina and Barb will be there, and our friend Lori's coming in, and we're going to get to see all these people that we haven't seen in so very long. This is a trip that one of my demonstrator friends put together. It used to be our, um, what's my hair doing? It looks really weird. It used to be... <laughs> It's like making a necklace. I don't know. It used to be where we went for Founder Circle. Stampin' Up! would send the top 100 demonstrators from the U.S. and the top 20 from Canada to St. George, Utah. And so um, one of our demonstrator friends, she's actually my business coach, she put together this trip. And everybody's paying their own way, but we have a huge swap. Like 
I have 78 cards that I'm taking for a swap. What? I know that's a lot of cards. And we're gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it for you tonight, the card that I used for the swap. I think it's really cool. And um, you'll get to see exactly what it is. So we had shopping this weekend. I planted flowers. Um, I saw John and his wife out in the front yesterday. And Haley and Jared and Val were out in the front too, playing in the little car. And um, John's grandson was over and he was learning how to ride his bike out on the sidewalk. So that was really nice. And then Today, John was outside, and Steve has been bugging me because we have, like, this great big table outside, our patio table. It's got this giant piece of glass that goes on the top, and Steve's been like, you got to help me get that glass down. you got to help me get that glass down because he stores it, I don't even know where, someplace up in the attic or something. But anyways, today I went outside, and the glass is on the table. I'm like, how did you do that? Like, you shouldn't be doing that yourself. And he didn't. He asked John. John was outside, and John came over and helped him. So, yay, John. That was really nice. <laughs> All right. Um, wanted to let you know what's happening. I'm also going to be maybe making a couple cards from this card kit. Um, the uh, A Million Thanks card kit that I showed you last week. I thought, oh, maybe we'll make some of these. Is that what it's called? Yeah, A Million Thanks. So maybe we'll make one of these cards. We'll see. But Stampin' Up! is having a sale on their kits, you guys. And it's a BOGO sale. What that means is you buy one, you get one at 50% off. So kits are going to go really fast. The sale starts June 1st. So you want to make sure that if you want to get the deal and get have the selection of all the kits that are available, you want to get on there June 1st and um, buy one, get one 50% off. That is a really, really good deal. I think this kit is, I can't remember, like $20, $21 or something like that. So you can get it for like $10 or something like that. So yeah, crazy, right? Um, anyways, this is one of my favorites. Like I really like this kit, so I can't wait to make these cards. And the other thing that I wanted to remind you of are in our in color starter kit. So I know I've talked about it quite a bit, you guys, but this is the last chance. On May 31st is the last day that you can join my team. You can be a discount shopper or you can build a business. It's completely up to you and what you want to do with it. But I've said this many times, if you're a discount shopper and that is what you want to get out of this, I will never, ever, ever push you to do more than that. It's fine. Most of my team members are discount shoppers and I love them and I don't discriminate against them or my business builders. They have the same opportunities as everybody on my team. But when you join between now and the end of May 31st, you are going to get, oh my gosh, the in colors. A assorted 8.5 by 11 pack of the in color paper. And here's all those gorgeous colors right now. So you're going to get this. You are going to get a pack of the in color designer series paper. And I can't find mine right now, but I know it's here someplace. But this is a pack of designer paper. It's going to be in colors, these colors. You're going to get one of these. You're also going to get all of these ink pads. These are full size. I had somebody ask me, are those full size ink pads or little ones? These are full size ink pads. You're going to get all of them. And that's not all. Hang on. You're going to get a grid paper. This is what I have on my desk that I'm stamping on. And... It is in all the beautiful in colors. Like they are so, so, so pretty. Hang on, oh, here's the other one. I've used up the, all the sweet sorbet. But they're so pretty. This is such a pretty mat to have on your desk. So you can join my team when you go to my blog and that's www.estampabub.com. If you plan on doing this, I would love to have you. I've had so many new team members join just in the last few days. It's been like, whoa, this is cool. And um, you want to make sure that you don't wait until May 31st, okay? Because um, on Tuesday, things are going to get crazy. And somebody just asked me, is there a new promo monthly? No, we don't have a promotion monthly. It's very sporadic, Becky. Um, and it just, and lots of times, well, I shouldn't say lots, almost all the time, I, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I don't know what the promotion is going to be. We don't get a heads up on that. 
So that's a really good question. But the promotion right now is the starter kit with the free in colors. And um, it's so fun to be part of something bigger. And I've talked about this a lot, but you get all kinds of stuff when you join my team. I have a team blog that you get access to. I put a class on there every month. You can do it yourself or share, you know, have friends and family come over and you can make the cards. Um, we have a Facebook page that is so much fun. We do mystery stamping. We do challenges. Um, we've got a live question and answer every Tuesday morning um, with me answering questions. And we also do team training every Wednesday afternoon. So whatever you want to do with this, you can just enjoy your discount or you can be part of something way bigger um, and make a business out of it if you would like to. So completely up to you. And again, I don't ever push anybody to do anything. But the thing is, you only spend $99 plus tax. You get to choose $125 in any product you want from any of our catalogs. Plus, you're going to get these in colors on top, all of these items that I just talked about. Plus, you're going to get a paper pumpkin kit. All of that for $99. If you have an order going in that's going to be around $100, please consider doing this. You will never be disappointed that you did. It's so much fun, and there is no strings attached. Like, there's no strings. You'll love it. Okay. <sighs> I am going to set this off to the side now. Wanted to talk a little bit about my um, Sweetest Cherries kit class. That is going on right now. I just sent out all the kits that people have pre-ordered. So if you would like to get the Sweetest Cherry kit, it is $55. It comes with a half a pack of the Awash in Beauty. Oops, hang on, I got a, oh, I got a glue stick. Oh, jeez. There's a glue dot stuck to this. Um, you get a half a pack of this. You get um, peekaboo treat bags. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you those. You get some rose gold and white ribbon, and also a blending brush in your kit with enough pre-cut cardstock to make eight cards. There's four different designs, two of each. If you need the sweet cherries bundle, which oh my gosh, this is super duper cute. We're gonna use this tonight. It comes with a. You can get it with a punch. It doesn't come with a punch. You can order it together with a punch. Um, the entire thing with the stamp set is $95.25. That does include tax and shipping to get it to you priority once it gets to me. So, super cool. Very cool class. Also, the cup of tea class went out. So, if you have the cup of tea set um, and you would like some fantastic cards to go with that, that class is really fun. If you are part of the Stamp Happy Academy, all of these PDFs for these classes are on there. You get those included. Four new online classes every single month. There are like right now 60 online classes. If anybody needs any information about Stamp Happy Academy, please just let me know. But you can find it online by going www.stamphappyacademy.ning, N-I-N-G dot com. You'll find all the information. But yeah, there's a ton of online classes on there right now. And then um, I wanted to let you guys know bingo i have rescheduled bingo to june 8th we are going to be using he's the man rustic dots linen thread i'm sorry he's the man designer series paper rustic dots and linen thread those all come in your bingo kit um we are going to be making five cards you'll get a pre-cut card stock pack when you register for cards and bingo that have five pre-cut cards in it we're going to be using he's all that um, bundle Let's Set Sail Bundle and Wildlife Wonder Bundle. And we're making all man cards. They're so cool. They're already done and ready to go. So registration is on my blog for the um, June bingo. That is at 7 p.m. Central Time on the 8th, which is a Wednesday. I will email you a link to the YouTube um, video so that you join us live. And it's so much fun. But I'm excited to get back into bingo. I didn't do it last month. I decided to move it to the beginning of the month. Because things got a little crazy last month. And I thought I'm going to keep it at the beginning. Because I have so much stuff happening at the end of the month. This is just a better time. Yay. Okay. Um, what else do I have? 
Don't let me forget to show you mail because I have some mail to share with you. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, this is so hilarious. You know how I always talk about, oh, I lost something. I lost it. I lost it. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I finally found my Fern 3D embossing folder. Guess where it was? It was in my embossing folder storage bin with all the rest of the embossing folders. But see, I haven't transferred all my new stuff, and this is new, from little bins laying over here into all the rest of my stuff. So that's why I didn't know it. And guess who already ordered a new one? Yeah, me. <laughs> right? And then, do you guys remember this card that I shared with you? Yeah, I told you I had three more cards made with this. Um, this is called Season or Textured Chic 12 by 12 Specialty Paper. I have three more cards designed with this, and I couldn't find them. I found them just before I went live tonight. And you know what? They were in with this pack of paper. Remember I said, I know I put them someplace that I would have to unpack things and put them away, and then I would find them. Here they are. So, found, found, yay. We'll be doing these in the near future. <laughs> oh my gosh, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just like, rah, crazy, crazy. Okay, I think that we, oh, we need to do prizes, and then we'll turn this around and get stamping. How about that? So, there are three ways you can win fabulous prizes from me. The first way is to leave a comment here. So, if you, somebody said, I feel your pain, Barbara. I know, right? Oh my gosh, sometimes I just feel like, Gosh, can't anything just go right? <laughs> this is the Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials. These are beautiful, beautiful um, embellishments. You will get entered in a drawing when you leave a comment here. So if you're new to me, please just leave any comment. Hi, Arliss. I see you popped in there. Leave any comment so you can be entered in the drawing. And this, oh, good grief. What did I do with my, here's my list. Oh, I thought I lost my list of the people that won. Okay, comment. This is going out to Esther Truesdale, Washington. Esther, I don't think I have your address. So when you watch this, you're going to need to pop me an email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Pop me an email with your address so I can get your fun, happy mail out to you. Next up. We have for sharing this video someplace on your screen right now you can share this video and when you do that that really helps me grow my business I really really appreciate it I am going to be sending a new simply chamois look how clean it is I know right <laughs> and some of the 2021 2023 in color jewels these are fantastic these are for sharing my video. Last time, these are going out to Nancy Voles. And Nancy lives in Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. Yay! I'm so excited, Nancy, that you won. Okay, next up. For placing an order in the last week with me, I have some of these garden gems. Oh, these are so, so, so pretty. And a delicate dahlia stamp set. For placing an order in the last week, Deb Hanneman of Ottawa, Ohio. These are coming your way. You're going to love them. I'm so excited to be sending these out. So let me put these over and put the little list here so I can keep them where I don't, I don't lose them. Like I don't put them with a whole bunch of stuff and then I can't find them, right? Look at how crazy my hair looks. Yeah, I just took a shower. That's all you're getting from me. I know you guys could care less, right? I'm like, oh, I just can't do my hair. So, okay, I think we are ready. Don't let me forget the mail, okay? I'm gonna move this so I can see my mail right there. Who's gonna be in charge of reminding me about the mail? Somebody needs to. All right, we're ready to flip this camera around. Are you guys ready to flip? Hi, Jenny Miller. Jackie Unger, I see Jackie and Kathy Sanford on here. Yay, Joy's on here. Okay, I'm going to flip this around. We are going to get started with our stamping. I don't know how long I am going to, I, you know, I've got enough stuff that I could, I could make a pretty, pretty long show tonight, but I don't know how long I'm going to last because I, I tell you, I'm just not 100% yet. 
And I do need to make sure that I get 100%, right? <laughs> Did you guys see my vlog hop? Oh, my good grief. So I wanted to share this with you. This is the beautiful Awash in Beauty Designer Series paper, and this is the Faux Silk Technique. This is on my blog right here, and um, you'll find a video that shows you exactly how to do this. I put some of those brushed brass butterflies on here, and this is the same thing. I mean, I didn't, the only thing I stamped was my words, right? I stamped and embossed them. Did you guys know you can color embossing powder with our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers and make it any color you want it to be. This is yellow and this is pink, right? As well as the ribbon. That's our crinkled seam binding. I colored those. And then I wanted to show these to you. This is the Charming Sentiments. This is a very cool little bundle. This was the first time I used it. It's brand new in the annual catalog. You've got you guys have seen me cutting out words like this, right? Stamp and cut out the words. Well, you can stamp and die cut the words. These have dies that go with them, which is super, super cool. But then we also have all these fun little elements. There's candles. There's, um, I think this is a dragonfly. We've got some stars and some hearts and a little sun rays, some polka dots, just a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is the bundle that I'm going to use for my June kit class, the Charming Sentiments. So watch for details on that. I don't have anything loaded yet um, for people to sign up, but I will be getting that done probably in the next week or so. By the way, bingo registration is open, so you guys can head over to my blog, and then you're going to want to look at online classes. When you click on that, it's in the right-hand side of my column or as you scroll down, you're gonna see online classes. Click that, it'll show you all the online classes that I have available. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a little piece there. So anyways, this was Faux Silk. I did this with the Totally Techniques design team and what fun, huh? Super easy, you can make a gazillion cards like this. Like they're so simple. Okay, kit class for June, I'm excited about that. Let me put that over here. I'll set these aside. <sighs> I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is my piercing mat. I just cover it with some printer weight paper and use um, scotch tape to tape it on there. This is what I choose to stamp on. Here is the Sweetest Cherries bundle. And this one has a fun builder punch for the cherries. This is my kit class for the month of May. And I do have just a few of these left. Again, you'll find them on my blog under online classes. You don't need to email me and ask if I have any left. Just get yourself registered because when I sell out of these, I go and put sold out on my blog so you won't be able to order them. So um, I get a lot of people who will say, Are, do you still have some of those available? Just click on it and register and then we'll work with it. Cause I don't want you to miss out, right? Like what if I only have one available and you emailed me, but somebody else just signed up, you know, you know how it goes. Okay. So this is 14 different stamps in here and I am going to bring in all my bits and pieces. Now my online class, I used a whole bunch of different colors for the cherries. I used cherry cobbler. I used real red. I used um, Blackberry Bliss. And where's my cards at? Uh, just a whole bunch of different colors. Yeah, Blackberry Bliss, Cherry Cobbler, real red. And I don't know what else. Anyways, they're, they're so cute. You will love them. Okay, we are going to start. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, I always post pictures and dimensions and the link to this video on my blog after I'm done with a Facebook Live. I want you to know that I am not going to post the projects that we're making here until maybe tomorrow or the next day or so, okay? Because I think when I get done tonight, I need to just like go to bed. Not that I'm feeling cruddy right now, but I think that's the best thing for me to do. I'm not gonna lie. So I won't be posting all of that stuff tonight. Cause usually I stay up till like midnight or so getting all of that ready and together. And somebody said they loved my nails. Aren't they cute? 
Yes, I went and got my nails done the other day and they're not ugly this time. So thank you. That was really sweet of you. All right, I'm gonna grab some linen thread here because I forgot I ran out on my last roll. We're gonna use linen thread. We are going to use our builder punch. We are going to use Granny Apple Green Real Red and Crumb Cake inks, as well as this rectangular postage punch, okay? And I've got an envelope here. I've got a piece of the beautiful A Wash and Beauty Designer Series paper. Now, this was part of the online class with the cherries, too, so um, lots, of, lots of good cards made out of this. We're going to use the green side. This is three and a half by four and a half. And then I've got a one inch strip here we're going to use for the inside. Now, the um, front layer is basic white. This is three and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I've got a layer for the inside. And I think I'm going to go ahead and decorate up my inside. Haley and Jared are planning on coming over with the babies for breakfast in the morning too. So I made sure that I had buttermilk for buttermilk pancakes, but we'll see how I feel. They know that. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh gosh, I just put a nick in that. Okay, good. It's going to be okay. All right. So here's our inside layer and I'm just going to take that and add it right down here to the inside. By the way, did I say this is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half? I think I did not. But just know that all these dimensions will be available on my blog and I've been making free downloads of project sheets to go with all of my cards. I did not do it for these, but I will get the project sheets up and loaded on my blog. Um, I needed to go shopping with my babies, so. <laughs> I didn't do that. Okay, uh, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this layer and we're going to add it to our basic white layer. This is just really gonna make that designer paper pop. And then I need scraps of white. So let me grab, I got a little bin that I keep all my white scraps in here, I'll show you. When I'm cutting huge amounts of paper for all these kits, I take these that are, you know, a decent size and I just keep them in here. And it just sits in a little container above my desk so that I remember to use them. We're going to grab that crumb cake ink right now. And, oh, and we're going to be using the dark red blend. And I think we're going to do that right now. Hang on. Also part of this kit is the iridescent pearls. So I'm going to grab those right now and that's where this marker is coming in and I'm going to just color. You can see I colored this one blue. The cool thing about these iridescent pearls, you guys, and you do get a whole pack of these with your um, Sweetest Cherries kit. Um, the cool part about these is that they still are iridescent even after you color them with the Stampin' Blend marker. So that's kind of cool, right? I want a big one and uh, two little ones. I colored a few too many, but that's okay. So I'm just going to set that aside. Now we're going to grab this little basket weave stamp. I absolutely love this. And if you guys still have the um, basket weave embossing folder. Oh my gosh, it would be perfect with this bundle, right? Like, so perfect. So I'm going to stamp. I would stamp this on one scrap, you guys, but these are the sizes of my scraps, so I'm just gonna use them up. But you're gonna stamp four of these. And then we're going to bring that postage punch in here. And we're gonna punch all of these out. And this just really fits in here nicely. Just like that. And just like, oops, this. And so are you guys having a good weekend? Remember last week I told you, even if you didn't have any plans to like go out to eat or go to Dairy Queen and get an ice cream cone or something, something to make your holiday weekend extra special. 
And of course, Memorial Day weekend, we're honoring all our fallen veterans, and we certainly want to make sure that we're not forgetting why we have a holiday, right? Okay, here we go. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take these and I'm going to glue them to this layer. So I think what I'll do is just turn these over, add my glue, and go in, mm, I think right about here. Now I'm going to grab this one quick and make sure that I can still, ah, crud. <laughs> And I can still move it if I need to. I'm going to be all gluey. You know. You know how it is when you get all gluey, right? Er, Hang on. Oh, I also picked up some new baby wipes. Oh, and I found some camouflage tennis shoes. <laughs> so I'm excited to wear those. <laughs> I don't have them on today, though. Or I would share with you. Okay, so we've got this done. Now I'm going to grab another scrap here and we are going to get out our real red and oh and I forgot we also need soft suede sorry about that got soft suede I'm gonna get rid of my crumb cake and now we've got our cherries and our sweet and our stem and our leaf and oh and this little thing, I didn't really understand why they had this little sprig in there, but it's the veins for the leaf. Hello, Kelly, wake up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some days, right? Some days I'm like, oh, good grief. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going to do real red and sweet. Ah, I love how big this is. You guys know I love big greetings, right? Then I'm going to grab another scrap here. And we are going to do a granny apple green leaf. Now I always like to kind of look at my punch to see how I need to put this on my paper so I can punch it out. Then I'm going to do the veins because now I know what they're for. <laughs> right? I didn't do that very good. Let me try that again. We're going to do that one again. Let me stick my head in here a little bit. Okay, that's better. Oh, and I have red all over my fingers already, so that's great. Um, then we need to do a stem. So that's the soft suede. Uh, where's my stem? Right here. Here comes the soft suede, and I'm going to kind of look at this. I'm going to put that way down here. And then, oh, and we need cherries. Hello, we need one cherry. So where did my cherry go? Right here. We're going to do this. Okay. So we're going to punch out all the things. I might not have made this. I did it. Dang it. Is that going to fit on there? Let's see. It wasn't long enough for me to get it into the punch. No. Oh, this one will be. <laughs> I have lots of scraps, as you saw, right? Don't worry. Okay, you need to make sure your cardstock is long enough so you can hang on to it to get it in here. There's our cherry. Isn't that cute? Then here comes our leaf. We only needed one. The other one I messed up. There's our leaf. And then we need the stem. And I love this little stem. It's like so so delicate. Okay, then we're going to put our cherry together. Now, this is how I did it. I put just a teeny weeny weeny dot, just a teeny weeny weeny dot right there. Oops, hang on. And you're going to grab your stem and you're going to just set it right on top of the, oh, look at you. Look at I have red. I have red. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give it that. Oh, there it is. Got red on my fingers, so hang on. I'm not finishing a card that looks like, you know what, when I can just redo that part. Here we go. We'll do this over so it doesn't have red all over it. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. I 
There we go. Okay. Did anybody? Oh, here it is. All right. So we'll try this again. A little tiny dot of glue. A stem without red all over it. How about that? And then I'm going to take and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue right on my leaf. That's just the tiniest, tiniest little bit. And I'm just going to set that right down on there. Yay! Grab some dimensionals. Here we go. I'm going to grab, I'm going to anchor this thing pretty good. Mini dimensionals. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to take this and we are going to cut it out. Just like that stamp set I'm using for my kit this month. This one would be really nice if it had a die to cut this out, right? But it doesn't. So we're gonna do just a little bit of fussy cutting and you can see how very easy this is. I like to leave enough outline around my words because if you get really close to them and you like aren't absolutely perfect at this, it really shows up. But if you stay further away, you don't notice those imperfections. And that got a little close, but I think we're going to be okay. Ta-da! Yay! Okay. Now, we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this also. And then we have one more thing. I'm going to grab this little piece right here. We're going to use the words that say life is, and we're going to do that on a piece um, or with granny apple green and I'm just going to stamp this on a scrap and then I'm going to cut it out so I'm gonna trim it like this and I think I'll cut it a little bit closer make it just a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna do this boom and boom. And then this is what we end up with. So now I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on the back of that. Okay. I think we're ready. Grab my take your pick tool. This is my favorite tool. I use it all the, all the, all the time. Oh, we're going to put our sweet on first. Hang on. There's that sweet. Here it is. Yeah, I'd like to get my office cleaned up. I'd like to get all my new product from the annual catalog put away. You know, all kinds of stuff like that that I haven't done yet. So that when I come home all refreshed and ready to rock. I was like, where did that go? Everything is nice and neat and I don't have to feel like such a cluster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm saying, man. Yeah, it'll be nice. And I do plan on getting it all cleaned up. Oh, look at it. Just look at it. Just yanked off my, <laughs> I just yanked off my darn leaf. Let me put a little bit more glue on there. There we go. <laughs> be careful. Don't be so aggressive. There we go. I'm going to hold on to your leaf while you're picking off that dimensional backing. There we go. Okay. And now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to set it right here. We're going to grab our pearls. And again, with the take your pick tool, I am going to add a pearl here and another little one here. Whoops. Make sure you do that to your pearls. Dip them in the ink. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me move these out of the way. I'm going to wipe my hand off again just in case because at this point we don't want to wreck everything, right? And now we're going to bring this in. and add this to the front of our card at an angle just like this. And then don't forget, we have our Baker's Twine and I think this just really does a lot with this card. Like it's really cute, but this is going to just be the last element that it needs. And I'm gonna wrap this around three times. Now I included the white and what is that white and rose gold ribbon with this 
class. And I also, that's what I used on all the cards and the little treat pouches. So just know that if you have the linen thread, you can also create this card. So then you'll have five ideas, right? This is just an additional idea with this bundle. Gosh, sometimes, sometimes this is just the hardest part, isn't it? Shippers. Wish I had Steve up here to give me a finger. Not the naughty finger either. Just to help me hold it down. You can actually tie this in a knot. Yeah, I got, I'm going to have to tie it in a knot because it's not... It's not cooperating with me. Tie this in a knot and then you can tie your bow. Sometimes I can get away without it and sometimes I can't. But with linen thread, it doesn't really matter because it's not gonna, it's not gonna add all that bulk. Good grief. <laughs> I think this was my first day or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, so cute, right? All right, now we still have an envelope too. So let's just grab the envelope. I'm gonna grab my cherry with my real red, just like that. And then where's my stem, stem, stem? Here's my stem. We've got the um, soft suede, just like that. Cute, cute, cute. You could leave it just like this. This is super cute already, right? But I'm gonna bring in my granny apple green and just put one little leaf right there and maybe one little leaf right there. Oh, what do you guys think? Isn't it so cute? Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. This is just the cutest little bundle. So this again is the sweetest cherries bundle and it has a cherry builder punch when you order both of these together with one number it's called a bundle and you save 10 percent, so it's a pretty good deal and of course you're going to want the punch right i love punches like punches are my favorite um not that i don't like dies dies are great but punches are just so quick and easy that i really do love them okay let me get this in here and good grief I'll just leave that in there. Okay, we're going to clean up this. And all of this out of the way. Put my stamps. I'm going to keep all my stamps that I don't need to clean over here. And then the ones that I need to clean, I'll put in this basket over here so I don't forget to clean them. Let me wipe the ink off my fingers again. And now I just hit the red. <laughs> Stamping is messy business. You guys know this, right? Okay. Dimensionals, we'll keep right over there. Everything else is headed over here. And right there. Scrap, 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 scraps. Come on. All right, let's get this show cleaned up a little bit, right? What are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I have. Mm -hmm. It is strawberry lemonade. But I do have to tell you that we did go out for fish Friday night because I was wearing my fish fry shirt. And um, I had an old fashioned and it was delightful, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's wonderful. Okay, I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that swap card in that I promised to share with you. Let me move this out of the way. This is the Vintage Tools set, and oh my gosh, such a perfect set for man cards. And the minute that I saw this card, what immediately came to mind for me was collage stamping stamping all the images and that's what I like to do with this type of stamp set. So this comes with 12 different images in here and they're all like kind of old fashioned looking. 
I really like them. And then I pulled Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays. And you know what? I think that's from, oh yeah, that's from the Charming Sentiments stamp set. So I like looking at that going, oh my good Lord, where did that come from? It's from this one. So I use that sentiment um, for the inside. Okay, here we go. We are going to get out all of our pieces here. We are using a basic black card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I see a lot of you are drinking water. So I'm sorry if that is sucking the joy out of your life. I hate water. <laughs> okay, we have two basic white layers. These are both four by five and a quarter. Let me put this back on my little cherry card so I don't lose that. Okay, and then we have a starry sky. This is a fabulous, fabulous... Um, color for man cards. This is going to be three and seven eighths by, I don't know, let me measure it. Three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then, ooh, I need to get out my designer series paper, hang on. So Kathy brought me all of these the other day. She's been making these up for me. And I just love these. They're so nice, right? Oh, and I don't know where the black one is. Oh, darn it. Maybe I don't have that one. Hang on. Maybe she made it for me earlier. Yep, she did. She's amazing. Not going to lie. So here is our designer paper. This is the perfectly penciled designer paper, and somebody told me that there's some dyes that um, will cut out the flowers on here, too, and I think they're part of, I don't know if it's the Abigail Rose or maybe. Anyways, there is, but I love these black and white patterns, so I thought this was perfect to bring in for this man card. We are going to take our Starry Sky ink. And we are going to start stamping. And this is what I consider collage stamping. So you're just going to stamp all, a whole bunch of images all over this layer. So you just kind of want to mix and match them, fit them in here, do what you can. Set that right there. I usually like to start with the biggest ones first so that I can make sure that things are actually going to fit and then you can fill in with the smaller ones. I'm gonna wash this because I'm gonna put this on the inside. Oh, let me get that. Good grief. I keep saying that tonight, right? Okay, sorry. I know that could get annoying. All right, so we've got that. I think I'm going to Next, I'll take this one. We'll do this and maybe a little of this. And how about that? And then let's bring in the nuts and boltsies. These are actually nails. <laughs> I do know. I do know what things are. Don't worry. I used to do woodworking. Did you guys know that about me? Yeah, like I had an extensive power saw collection. Like I had all the saws. And I remember when Steve um, was working, some guy asked him, like, so what are you getting your wife for Christmas? And he said, well, I'm going to get her a new table saw and a band saw. And the guy started laughing. He's like, really? What is she getting you, like a sewing machine? <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> we laughed and laughed. But, yeah, I used to. I made an entertainment center. I made a, a coffee table. I made all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, so here's all of our, here's our collage stamping. It just looks cool, right? And then I'm going to take one of these white layers and I'm going to use the black ink. We're also going to use memento black ink. And I'm going to stamp our wishing you the happiest of birthdays. The men in my life are going to love this one. Oh, I love that font. You know I'm a big font girl. 
And then I'm going to take this, um, what is this? This shaves off a door. I can't remember what it's called. What is it called, you guys? You shave off a door to make a door fit to close. A lathe? No, no, that's not it. I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, we're going to put it right there, and it looks really cool. We don't care what it's called. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> okay, so we have this and this. And now we're going to go over to these little pieces. So this is where my, a planer, yes, Jamie, thank you. You plane the edges of a door to make them fit or any type of anything. Planer. I had actually, um, I didn't have one of these, but I had an electric planer. Like, yeah, it was pretty cool. Anyways, so you're going to have, um, these are half inch by, mm, I think they're three. Yep, half inch by three. So we've got this designer paper, this designer paper, and then, did I stamp this yet or did I already have that stamped? I think I already had it stamped. It's your day. And that comes with the stamp set. I don't think I stamped that right now for you. I don't know. Anyways, so we're going to come in and add dimensionals to these pieces. And like, this is such a cool man card. And you know, men, you can get, you know, pretty detailed with them, but they, they don't like a lot of fuss going on. So this, I think, is just the perfect, perfect card for a guy. Okay, I'm going to bring this layer in right here. And make sure you hold this down good while you're picking these backs off. You don't want to tear these little pieces in half. You know, they're, they're not, they're, they're a little delicate. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put the striped one on first. And I'm doing that because that one's gonna go in the bottom and I just wanna make sure that I get it straight. Then I'm going to bring in the um, crisscrossy one, the plaid or whatever you wanna call it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna bring in It's Your Day. Just like that. And then we have our little embellishments. These are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. Gosh, could we have a longer name for that? But <laughs> you're going to just take these and I'm going to put one right over here because they're really manly and one right over here. Yay! Isn't that cool? It's very striking with that blue. That's what I really loved about it. And we're going to take that and add it to our white layer. Remember, we had two white layers. One of them we stamped our inside greeting on. Uh, what's happening here? This doesn't seem... Uh, I'm thinking something's not quite right here. Hang on. I need to grab a different piece. Is this cut wrong or is that cut wrong? Oh, this one looks better. Okay. This is just a, just a little sliver. Oh yeah, and I totally jacked it up. The blue piece isn't cut right, but I'll fix it. Well, maybe I won't, who cares? Nobody's gonna care. <laughs> I should fix it. No, I won't. <laughs> oh, whoever I decide to give this card to, if they say anything about it, I'll punch them right in the throat. <laughs> I won't, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not violent much. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? This is a little thicker up here and we got pretty thin down here, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Here comes our inside. Doesn't that just look cool? I like the inside. And then I think if you wanted to, it'd be really cool to um stamp the flap of the envelope with all of these. I see I got a little, a little tag out here. I gotta need to get rid of that. But I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to, oh, I forgot that. Look at, I forgot the players, you guys. We could, well, let's do those right now. 
Players are cool, right? I know what players are. Players! Yay! Okay. Um, I forgot the players and the C clamp. But here is our totally cool man card. Super easy. You could make up a whole bunch of these. I think this is slightly crooked. Let me see if I can fix it. Yep, I can. But yeah, you can make up a whole bunch of these, right? Easy peasy. Guys will love them. They're all manly and stuff. Yeah. Great card. Again, this is called Vintage Tools. Strong, solid, dependable. You're all that and more. It's your day. You're plain, little pun, plain, plain awesome, and build in some time for yourself. I like these a lot. Okay, I am going to get these out of the way here. Oh, I know that I still wanted to show you guys. Um, hang on a second. I wanted to show you. So with my um, Sweetest Cherries class, okay, this is a card we made tonight, so you just have an additional idea. But I included these little peekaboo treat bags. And you get a whole pack of them. There's 10 in a bag. There's five white and five like craft colored. And I didn't even realize there was white ones in here until I opened this up. And I'm like, what's going on in there? Oh, look, there's white ones. So what I did with mine is I put a little designer paper here and stamped sweet and then put a cherry down here. Designer paper here too. This is two by four, one by four. I added a little bit of shred and this would be a great gift card holder. This one, I took craft ink and stamped that basket weave right on the treat holder. I stamped my sweet on a tag. Um, I stamped off once for the cherry and the stem, and then I used that rose gold and white ribbon to tie my tag on there. And then this is the same one. It's just craft and white. And then this is the same one. Oh, I guess that is, oh, I use craft crumb cake ink here and white ink here. So I just want to show you the difference. So lots of great ideas for these peekaboo treat holders. Like I said, you get 10 of them in a pack and I can see these like for Valentine's Day. I could see these for a birthday party, like little, little treat bags, a gift card holder. You could put earrings in here. Um, this bracelet would fit in there. How cute would that be? New car keys would fit in there. Oh, I don't need a new car. I used to say that all the time, but nobody ever bought me a new car. I'm not quite sure what their problem was. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so next up. Are you guys still with me? The audacity of nobody to buy me a new car. <laughs> I know. All right, here we go. Look at this. This is a million thanks kit. Oh my goodness. You get everything in here. And I said the only thing you need is adhesive and scissors. You don't really even need adhesive because you get mini dimensionals and mini glue dots. So this is what a kit looks like. These are on sale next, starting June 1st. Buy one, get one 50% off. That is a heck of a deal. Now we've got embellishments, we've got an evening evergreen ink spot. These are our envelopes, how fun are those? Then we have some die cut elements, card bases, die cut elements, all kinds of die cut elements here. Some banners, card bases, and some more card bases. So when you get one of these kits, these are like the funnest things. Like I remember one time we went camping and my sister-in-law and she was bringing a friend. I got kits for everybody and then they paid me for them. But we all sat and made cards and it was so simple because all I had to do was bring, bring a little box for everybody, right? And I had a pair of scissors and some glue there. So it was perfect. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take our thank you. And the cool part about this kit is it is all-inclusive, meaning that it actually comes with a block. So people who may have never stamped before and they don't have blocks, they don't even need one because it comes with it. So I'm going to do this card right here. One of the things that I do like to do, I'm just going to look and make sure that I'm doing 
Yep, okay. Is, let's see, we'll get this open. Da -da -da. Oops. So I got to go with Haley and Jared the other night to look at a house. They've been they've been trying to buy a house and holy cow, it's like the worst, absolute worst market right now. It's just so horrible. But we went and looked at one house was like meh. The other house was really cute. So I think they put an offer in it. I'm not sure, but I think they were going to. So everybody keep your fingers crossed. Okay, here comes our thank. And I'm just going to stamp that on here. Yay! And I'm going to clean my finger off because I don't know what I have on there. But one of the things I like to do when I'm doing these kits is to leave, leave my pieces right in here so I don't even take them out. I just stamp all of them. Boom, boom, boom. And... That works out really good. Like it's a good way to put a kit together, right? Yay. Okay. And I think they actually gave us some extra ones too because there's only three cards. So let's do this. Love the font. I know, right? Kathy loves the font on this one. I do too. I think it's really pretty. And... Here comes our card, and these are like little viney things that hang down from the top. And I am going to grab this, and then I want to grab, where did all the, there they are, all of these pieces. We're gonna grab uh, orange, a couple limes. You've got two sheets, three sheets of these, so you can grab, you know, you can, you can put on quite a few little things. Here's our flowers and our flower and our flower. Okay, so I am going to, let's see, how do I wanna put this together? I'm gonna to use, I'm just gonna use my dimensionals because they come with dimensionals, but I have dimensionals, so why not, right? Okay, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just tuck those all in around this tag is what I'm gonna do. because that's gonna be the easiest way for me to do it. So here we go. We're gonna put this right down here, right in the middle. Got it straight. And then I am going to add a little orange slice there and a little orange slice here. And of course you can put these in any way you want, right? But I'm going to do it just like it has it in the instructions. And a lime. You need the limes for the margaritas. <laughs> you guys know I love a good margarita, right? Yeah, not going to lie about that. Okay, so now I'm going to just wipe the end of my bottle off. I'm going to put a little dot here and a little dot here and... Maybe, do I have, here's my mini, my mini dimensionals. I think I might put one of these little flowers on, oh yeah, there we go. That one looks like it's kind of on a little mini, oh crud. Get the backing off. <laughs> Look at how cute that is, oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, this one is gonna go right there. And then this one right here, and I think I need, Another lemon. Yep, I needed another lemon right over here. Now, anybody, and I mean anybody, could make this card, right? Anybody could make this card. It's super duper cute. You can do whatever you want with the inside. Where's my envelopes? Here they are. We have these cute little envelopes with a stripey inside. How sweet is that, right? All right, next up. Next up, we are going to do the dark green one. Here, these are all scored, so you don't even have to score anything. They're just all ready to roll for you. And then, let's see. Find all these bits and pieces. I didn't even show you these ones. Okay, so here comes our heart. 
This is cool. This is going to go right here. We also have this element. Pull this out. Oh, don't rip your leaves. <laughs> and then we're going to do clean off here. Where'd our stamp set go? Does anybody see it? Huh. I did not see it. Does anybody see the stamp set? Hmm. Well, we may be done now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will persevere and I will find it. Okay, this one is going to say a million thanks. So this is really cute. And make sure when you're taking these off that you tell people, you know, be careful with them. You don't want to just yank one end of them because you can tear them. I have not had that issue, but I don't yank them off like that. I did have a customer who did that one time and like, well, <laughs> sorry, but <laughs> think about that. Sorry, that was mean. We all make mistakes, right? Okay, here we go. And here comes our... Oh, I can't wait to send these out. I always, I send out a lot of thank you cards, right? So this is going to be perfect. And then I would stamp all of these, you guys. So that's done. I'll pop that out of there. We're going to add this to the front. I'm just going to put glue right there, put this right in the center, and then we are going to add this right to the center. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I want a stamp set like this, and then we'll do some dimensionals on here. And what did they do? Did they... I think they added flowers on top of the heart. So let's take a little look, see it. Oh yeah, they did. Okay, ready? I'm gonna put mine right up there. Oh, that's not centered. Eh, there we go. My stomach is growling. Steve made ribs today. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat some of them. All right, here comes. I'll put a little dimensional on here, and we'll add that right over this one. Yay! And here's another one. Look at how fun these are. I know my Molly always has a blast with these kits. I let her make these up too. Every time she's like, Granny, I need a card for such and such. I'm like, well, let's go find which kit's gonna work the best. Just trying to put this over See if I can figure it out. There we go. And then I want to do one more right down here. Yes, yeah, so you can buy one of these and get the second one half off. And that's just a really fun way to share your love of stamping with friends and family who may have never stamped before. The last one is a charm, right? Look at how cute that is. Okay, so we have these too, and I forgot about them, but we need to get some of these on here. These are like enamel dots, and where did our other card go? Right here. I'm going to do one right here, and one right here, and one right down here. Okay, so we got those enamel dots on there. And then, I don't know, I don't think we put any enamel dots on this one. I don't see any on there. Okay, so there's card number two with a cute little envelope. Oh my goodness, I'm getting dizzy. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Thank goodness I'm sitting down. Okay, and next, probably because I'm hungry. Here comes this, and these are like embossed. They're like clear embossed, so fun. I love these. Okay. So look at this. This this looks like ribbon, but it's actually just a die cut that I think is super fun. We're going to use this particular die. 
and we're gonna stamp seriously grateful for you. So let me get this out. What was Judy's thinking? Uh, <laughs> I'm so lucky to have a cabana boy and <laughs> um, a private chef. I know, right? Don't don't think that's lost on me either because I wish he would have been cooking for me all these years, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> he was not. I was the only cook in the house for the first 20. And now he is for the last all of them. <laughs> I'm not cooking anymore. <laughs> okay, I do cook once in a while. Like tomorrow I'll make breakfast. I make, I, I always do breakfast. Well, he does eggs and toast and stuff like that. But I do the waffles and the pancakes and the French toast. He doesn't do stuff like that. That's my deal. With the real maple syrup. Oh my gosh, I love this font. I just love it. It's so, so pretty. Okay, so here we go. We are going to take this, and of course you would use the mini glue dots that are in here to glue all these things down if you did not have your glue with you. Here comes this. And then we are going to take the dimensionals. And now for those of you that might have come on late, I mentioned that I will not be putting up a blog post with my projects for tonight until later in the week. I think that's really crooked, but it's homemade, right? So just so you know that, most of the time I get it done right away, but I'm not going to be doing that tonight because I think I'm just going to go eat and hang out with the hubs. Oh, let's do some of these. Ah, uh, yeah. I gotta show you my mail yet, so just hang tight. I'll bring back in all the cards that we made tonight, and I'm so happy that I did this because I think I would have felt pretty crappy if I hadn't come on to spend the evening with you guys, knowing that I'm probably not going to be here next week. So just know that I'm going to be traveling on Sunday, so I probably will not be live next week. And here's, these are so cute, you guys. This, again, is called the A Million Thanks Kit. Now, on uh, June 1st, which is Wednesday, you're going to go to the Stampin' Up! store, and you are going to look in the left-hand side. You can click on Kits. Okay, that'll bring up all of the kits that we have available. You can scan through them. They're buy one, get one free. Don't delay if you want to get your hands on a particular one. No, I'm sorry. I said buy one, get one free. That's wrong. Buy one, get one 50% off. So, um, yeah, this is a really, really good deal on these kits and such a fun way to spend an afternoon or an evening with friends and family putting some kits together because everybody needs thank you cards, birthday cards, all the cards, right? Okay, let's do, let me put this over here. Here comes the card that we made tonight with the sweetest cherry, cherries bundle. Here comes the fabulous vintage tools card that we made. We got a lot accomplished tonight. That was impressive, right? And now I'm gonna share with you my mail because I have some beautiful mail. All right, look at this black and white dandy. This is from Pamela Orshishin <laughs> from Oregon. She knows who she is. I can't say her last name. I love black and white, and this is absolutely beautiful. And she's sending me a thank you card. She um, was one of the winners in the new catalog kickoff. By the way, if you missed that catalog kickoff, I do have some make and take packets available. When you purchase the make and take packet, you get links to all the videos and the entire Facebook group. So even though the event is over, you can still go and see all of it, all the card galleries, all the things. It's pretty fun. This one is from Sarah Thibodeau. And look at this. Isn't this pretty? I like how it's all like vanilla with that touch of brown. Very, very pretty, Sarah. Thank you so much. She wanted to thank me, Dina, and Barb for all the creativity and fun for the new catalog kickoff event. You ladies are awesome. Thanks for all you do. Sarah, you are too sweet. 
Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Next up, we have Margaret Herrick. And look at this fun card. This is so cute. And she says, thank you for the cute card. It will be perfect for my very handy nephew's birthday. Yay! She loves all my videos. Peg, thank you so much. This is just one of those fun folds that's really cool. Next up, we have Debbie Wheeler. Let me get her note out of here. <gasps> Look at this. This is really cool, you guys. Debbie, I love this card. This is like, I think called like a Dutch fold card. This uses the bottled happiness. Isn't that fun? And um, Debbie was sending me a card. Um, oh, this was her swap card from the catalog kickoff event. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much for sending me one, Debbie. I appreciate that. Next up, we have B. Bauer. Look at this. This is, I love the font on here too. This is very, very pretty. Look at how cool that is. <gasps> I love that little peekaboo window. Yeah. She loves the butterfly kisses paper and the fun flower resin shape. So she must have gotten some happy mail too. Yay. Love it. Those little flowers are really cute. Then we have Kieran. Whoops, I just dropped one. Kieran Nevin from Colleen, Texas. Look at how beautiful this is. This is so, so pretty. And that's like the paper in the awash in beauty. You know, it's like the big, you could certainly use that paper on here too. Thinking of you. Thank you so much. And then, oh, one fell on the floor. Hang on. I gotta pick this up. This is from, oh, hang on, things are falling. Noreen Banda. Oh, look at how pretty this is. I love this. This is that, um, what is that paper called, you guys? Um, oh, it's not a wash in beauty. It's something else, but it's gorgeous. <gasps> Thank you for the happy mail. Love the gold ribbon. Yay! You're very welcome, Noreen. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that just so pretty? Beautiful. Okay, you guys, this is it. I am going to call it a night. Please make sure you share this video. That really helps me grow my business. I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. If you do place an order with me, please use this host code if your order is under $150. Hues of happiness. Thank you so much. That is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, my comments weren't coming up. Thank you guys so much. Um, if your order is over $150, you need to consider buying the starter kit. You get so much stuff for free. You will never, ever regret that you did that. And I'm looking for my little flyer right now, but I can't find it because, you know, why would I find something? Anyways, you get so much stuff right now before the last day of the month. So on May 31st, you can't get this deal anymore. Um, join my team. If you have an order around $100, join my fee team. Also, if you are new to me and you need a catalog, please don't hesitate to pop me an email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabove.com. And send me your address and I'll be happy to send you a catalog because gosh darn it, it's so much better seeing it in person than it is online. <laughs> also, if you join my team, we get to start pre-ordering from the holiday or the J July through December, the JD mini catalog on June 1st. Isn't that crazy? We as demonstrators, discount shoppers get to pre-order and we also get to pre-earn celebration stuff. Now that catalog, the JD mini catalog and celebration starts July 1st. So if you sign up as a discount shopper or a business builder, whatever you want right now, you will also get to pre-order and pre-earn those products. Yay! It's so fun getting to see stuff ahead of time, being able to do stuff with it right away. It's just like, it's one of those great benefits. All right, you guys, I'm just watching all your comments come through. Thank you guys so much. It's always such a pleasure to stamp with you. You know that I would have been very twitchy had I not done this tonight. Lisa says, join Kelly's team. You won't regret it. I'm telling you, you really won't. And Esther says, be careful. Um, Esther, I think you won a prize tonight. Did you hear that? You won a prize? Hang on. Um, yes, you did. Esther Truesdale, Washington, you won a prize. Make sure you email me, kelly at a stampabove.com. 
with your address if you missed that you won a prize because I want to send you all your prizes. Okay, it's time for me to close and I um, wish you all a wonderful holiday weekend. Even if you don't have any plans, go do something special. Even if it's just getting an ice cream cone or go have a piece of pie at your favorite diner or whatever. And remember our fallen soldiers for our Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. Um, we need to be very grateful to them. And thank you, Jackie. Safe travels. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm flying out of here on Tuesday morning. So can't wait. And I think I have a real horrible schedule. Like I fly from Appleton, I think, to Chicago, then to Denver, then to Salt Lake, then to St. George. It's horrible, I think. I don't even, I never look at my itinerary until it's time for me to check in and then I need to know what's going on. I'm terrible about stuff like that. It's like, do you know where, somebody asked me, do you know where your layovers are? Nope, not for sure. I have no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh, who just said that? Can I get a price to am from uh, Ghana? Oh, um, we cannot, we cannot mail catalogs outside the United States. So I am only allowed to do business with United States, people in the United States. Um, so you would need to check and see if there are any Stampin' Up! demonstrators in your country. So, so sorry about that. You can find the catalog online, but I don't know that it does you much good, except that there's a ton of really good ideas on there. So Jamie says, you must be exhausted. I, I will be exhausted. Yes, I probably will. But I am a really good sleeper. Like that is my superpower. And I can sleep on these planes like nobody's business. So I will probably sleep on every single leg of my journey. And so when I get to St. George, I'll be like, whoa, let's go. I'll be ready to hit it. Have some margaritas. <laughs> oh, and Linda says she's going to be in Salt Lake on the 14th. Well, we're just... We're just have a layover there, I think. Uh, and it's probably just a plane switch. I don't even know if we're really laying over. All right, I'm going to go see. Oh, I see my husband is still out in the garage. I'm going to grab some ribs and head out to the garage and have some dinner with him. Thank you guys so much for being part of my inky world. I really appreciate that you took the time out tonight to spend with me. If you need anything, please don't hesitate. This is my job and I love it. And I am here to help you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.